Hey guys, how's it going? We're back for some more Life is Strange. Let's leave Kate's room and continue on with our magical journey. We should do something about her room. Yo, we should talk to Victoria, actually. Oh, hello, Chloe. Max, food, two whales. See you there. Don't hurt my fingers texting. Oh, don't you hurt your fingers texting. Yay, breakfast. No emoji. Yo, Brooke, would you know how to get videos off the internet? Really, Max? I don't have time, Max. I can't talk now. Screw you, man. <gasps> Juliet, you want to kill Victoria with me? No, okay. Who is Victoria? I want to see if I can talk to her. Maybe rough her up a little bit. Okay, whatever. Fine, I won't disturb you. Shut up. Dana, I want you to go invite Kate to your party. Let's talk we'll later, We'll make her feel Max. better. Okay, screw you all, yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ, who are you? Juliet, I know how we can get back to Victoria. Excuse me, I'm texting Zach. Ugh, I hate all of you. Okay, let's go. <gasps> hi, Samuel. You're another one of my babies. Birdie. Hi, bird. Bird. Hi, bird. 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 The birds are flocking around Samuel. Cause Samuel's a sweetheart, that's why. Hi, Sam. Hey, Samuel. You're up early. Oh, hello, young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And that I was weird. the animals waking up with me. Oh. Snow. So, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. Oh, you wanna- you're an activist. Hasn't seen anything like that before. Let's talk about the animals. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning. For food. I can hear them whisper. Oh, What animals do you see in the forest? Deers! Don't laugh, but... I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me. Like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. I so don't want <laughs> to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. I like Samuel. He's a little crazy. He seems like a little bit of a nut job. But I like Samuel. It's football. Hi, football. Can't Blackwell have at least one no football zone? For some reason, I was just thinking about, uh, ooh, food base. Release the Kraken. Come on, squirrel. It's time for your 15 minutes of fame. Oh, I'm gonna feed it dirty food so that I can. I better not get near the bench or the squirrel won't take the food. Okay, game. Photo. Yes, another Pulitzer for the portfolio. He just goes blind, like that one episode of Drake and Josh. Okay. Bye, Samuel. Who are you, tree person? You are Victoria's friend. Let's kill her from the inside. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Just because you were nice to Victoria doesn't mean I have to be nice to you. I never say you did. Let's not fight. I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk. For once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Victoria, man, let's talk about that. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. 
Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. Let's talk about Kate's video, man. Kate is really upset about the video. All this gossip is cruel. Boo-hoo. That's what happens when you preach to everybody about sex. She'll live. Oh, so you were the person that did that. Did that. You I guess jerk. I've had mean, bossy best friends, too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever. We've had our talk. What? What does that mean? Oh, we got there a little person thing. That's not Rachel, that's Taylor. Taylor, conversation over. Okay, you know, screw you. I hate all of you. Private number. Is it Warren? It's Nathan's father. This is a message to let you know that attempts to slander or blackmail my son will be met with many lawyers to, uh, and legal ramifications. You are not the first student at Blackwell to try this. I hope you're the last. Consider this a polite final warning. Final polite warning. Okay. First of all, stop harassing me. Second of all, if this is not the first time, don't you think you would get the message? And third of all, where'd you get my number from? Stalker. I got two private numbers now. I feel popular. Max! It's over here. Okay. Hi, Warren. Warren, what are you doing here? Well, Waiting for me. Nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, hey, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. Thank you. I left By you way, to die. Thank you're you still alive. In. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. Huh, not You're like me. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? <laughs> pretty punk rock. Chloe Price. An old friend. Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question. Why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? I busted him. I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I'll give you the story later. Principal Wells is taking care of it now, I hope. No, he ain't. Weird fucking week. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Sure, I would enjoy that. Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. I mean... Okay. That's gonna have ramifications on my future. But, you know, I just hope that, like, you know, nothing comes up and screws that up. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. Or both. Who's that person on the staircase? I guess I'll never know. You have interesting hair. Oh, not you. Not that person. Oh, he's one of those hipsters that hangs out with Alyssa, I think. Just hard rock music, just hard metal, just out of nowhere, heavy screaming, ancient cantations, incantations, not cantations. Don't you know that? I'm always worried that like this this game's gonna be like, well, you're getting copyrighted. Take off all your videos off your YouTube channel, and you owe us five thousand dollars. Although it does really have a nice choice of music, it's nice, calming. But you guys won't get to hear it. I can't shut my mouth, so. Crosses along heavy on your shoulders. Sirens inside you, waiting to 
That lighthouse, man, is drawing so much attention to it. That's weird. Don't try to take it from me. It's mine. I wouldn't dream of it. What are you talking about, friends? Be a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. Hi, old guy. I bet he's seen a lot of changes to Arcadia Bay in his lifetime. No time for chit chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep. Got my lottery ticket right here. Waiting for the bus so I can cash it in. Cool. Gambling isn't right. Hi. You look lost. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. Just got off? I just got off the school bus, but I'm sure the regular bus is coming too. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I can't be late for this job interview. I can't believe I have to take a bus all the way to Newport just to find a second job. Uh -huh. Are things that bad here? Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. Well, good luck. Thanks, I sure need it. Okay, have a nice day. Chloe, stop messaging me. I'm coming. Run away, grab for the diner. Mom will feed you. Somebody, somebody better. I'll be lucky if you make it by noon. How about I message those numbers back while I wait? Save our city. Hey, fisherman. Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Same? Has the town changed? Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard it has. Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. Did you used to rule the world? Did the seas rise when you gave the word? You did good, mate. You did pretty good to have lasted this long. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. Yeah, screw the Prescotts. Prescott family, let's talk about that. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay. If that tells you much. Damn. Do you know them? They own my school. They own my school. Crooks gain respect when they put their names on schools and libraries. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. I'd love to learn more, <laughs> but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. Let's take a flyer. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Let's take some. Post them all over the place. All over the place. Take down the the Prescotts via the city. Guitar guy. Oh, you're not a guitar guy. You're just a man. I thought you were holding a guitar. That I'm stupid. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. Can you believe this town? The world is on fire, and our big headline is snow. I can hardly wait for next week's big story. Clouds. Oh, you seem upset. How long have you lived here? How long have you lived here? Long enough to know that Arcadia Bay will be a ghost town in a few years. Damn, I, I know. Maybe a few days. Wahahaha. <laughs> the paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. Rachel Amber? You mean Rachel Amber? I guess. I bet she ran away because she was bored. Who wouldn't be here? Okay. Bye, man. Bum. I'm joking, you're not a bum. Hi, homeless person. Hello. Aw, oh, look at you. A fine example of youth. I bet you're a senior student. Yes, hickey. I go to Blackwell Academy. I could tell you're a wise young woman. I know all about Blackwell and this town. How much for some info? Prescott family, I want to take them down. I bet 
You have dirt on the Prescott family. That whole family is dirty. They once done good things for Arcadia Bay. Those days are dead. Like anything in their way. The way to hell you know, is paved in good intentions. By a press cart. Then you be their guardian angel, because nothing gets in the way of that family, especially not the law. Hell, they own your school, Blackwell. Almost. What about Joyce Price? Who's that? You I don't even know that Joyce is. Price from the Two Whales Diner. She's oh. fed me more Chloe's than my brother. own Chloe's family. Not. I was a daughter your age who's always in trouble. Married to a real prick. Who? Oh. David Madsen. His name is David Madsen. He told me to get a job once. Asshole. Not sure what Joyce sees in him, but he better treat her right. You should kill him. I mean, what? How long have you lived in Arcadia Bay? A thousand years. I've gone through the same changes as the town. Oh. What changes? What changes to the town? Ones it takes a lifetime to see. There's a lot of beauty here, but a lot of darkness, too. Greedy bastards that ruin this town put people out of work. Out of home. Like me. Can I give you some money? I'm sorry. Have you ever lived outside of here? Where the hell would I go? I hate the sun and love the mist. I might be homeless, but Arcadia Bay is still my home. I have to go now. Goodbye. Can I give you money since you're homeless? You got carrots. Or, I don't know what those are. What's in the back? Nothing. Bye, homeless person. Let's shut down the power in this place. No? Okay. Let's break into this car. No, okay. How about I just walk off? I'm done. I'm leaving. I don't want to play this game anymore. Oh. Okay. I guess I'm not leaving. And as I run into the street. No. I don't want to go that way. Well, okay, I might as well just go inside. It seems like I don't have a choice anyway. Yeah, these flies everywhere. It's like you know the person. Damn, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware Ugh, makes me feel 13 again. What's this? Good lord. Talk about apocalyptic. The, welcome to Pan Estates. I don't know what that is. Trucker. Hey, Trucker. Hello. Hello, sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little <gasps> lost. Police guy. Hungry. Just hungry and thinking about what to eat. Now that is a real problem at the uh, Two Wells. I can never decide. Joyce's pumpkin pie or grilled mac and cheese. That sounds great right now. Do you know about Officer David? I guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? He's a jerk. He has a reputation. He kind of has a reputation at Blackwell. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling at Blackwell. At the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> not everybody can be a cop. It's a good thing he's not a cop. Whoops. Chloe. So, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard that Chloe even had a pot dealer in her room. Hi, how's it going? No big thing. Is that really a big thing? At least she was chilling in her room. How do you know she was chilling in her room? You just said so. She might have been getting high or getting her spray cans ready or whatever. I'd like to think the best of her, but she's now in the Arcadia Bay Police database. Is oh. she a friend of yours? Yeah. I know her. Then you know she's a handful. Yeah. She can be. She can be, but she can also be a good friend who shows up when you need her. Sounds like you're a good friend. I am. I wish she would be a great daughter and not cause Joyce so much stress. I'm not Joyce's daughter. How Wait, am I? do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our... Our mother. I have to go now. Enjoy your breakfast. By Joyce, way, mother to us all. One thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. I Why? usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Wise policy. 
the guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. Well, just because you said that, you know what I'm gonna go do. Let's go talk to Frank. Sketchy RV. What does an RV look like? Oh, RV, right there. Hello, RV. <gasps> Doggy. Uh, stop that. Stop. No barking. I want to go talk to Frank. There was something creepy about that guy and his dog. Let me talk to Frank, dang it. Frank, yo. Yo, Frank. How about I go around? The dog will never ex uh, expect it. And neither did the game. Okay. I wonder what Frank's deal is. This video is getting on for a while, but I need something to happen before I end the video. You guys get mad at me. I get all you people in the comments. Except that I don't, but you know. What do you want? I feel like shit. Too much beer, so spare me, please. Just let I'm me suffer quietly. Sorry. Jesus Christ. Hey, trucker. That officer looks nicer than wannabe cop David Madsen. I don't feel like talking right now. Hey, trucker. I gotta deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. Over now. Uh, hello? Pardon moi, but you're in my eyesight. Everything is in eyesight. Isn't everything in here with an eyesight? I don't care for your tone. You sound like Joyce. How does Joyce sound? Bossy and smartass. Like uh, you better take that back about Joyce. Joyce rules. Joyce rules. I want to be exactly like her when I grow up. Looks like you're on your way. I've been coming to this dive for three years, and Joyce gives me shit like it's going out of style. That's how she rolls. That's why I worship her every move. Good. I can't wait to see you flipping greasy bacon in a diner when you grow up. Exactly like Joyce. Now pardon me while I get back to my coffee. Yo, I'm about to choke you out. Sit the booth. I love how the booth disappeared for a second. And there she is. A lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. Yeah. No, like you still look pretty. Oh. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. <laughs> I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man. No, he ain't. No matter what Chloe says. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. It was very stupid. There's not present me. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle, and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did, after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. But you Joyce, got a friend in me. I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories, even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe understands. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. That's because I see why he's an idiot. Do you? He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. I go to school. But him. you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility. Yeah. 
David scared me. David scared me when he said he might have my scholarship taken away for that stupid joint. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. And I admire a doobie for Chloe. Like a great friend. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. A doobie. He cares about Kate Marsh? He cares about Kate Marsh? David mentioned her, but... I stay out of his business. I won't patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner. You're not looking at me. I saw him arguing over with me. Kate. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. Me? And she's not even in school anymore. Rachel so, Amber. Now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? A Belgian waffle. Oh my god, Belgian waffles are great. The last good Belgian waffle I had was here when I was 13 years old. So, bring it on. Now finish your coffee. I didn't even get it yet. Well, that's it for this video. Waffle for the hungry girl, pronto. That's it for this video. Hope you guys liked the video. I'm sorry if it's going on for long. I'm going to hurry up and get this over with so you guys can go on with your merry day and have some fun. See you guys later.